my check one two one two it's the y2k collector and i am bummed out completely bummed out so um one this dreamcast controller needs a thorough cleaning i don't know what's going on here this is horrible but um i pulled my dreamcast out of storage because i finally wanted to test um a few games that i picked up that i realized like i never even got a chance to test um first of them being house of the dead 2 um this was one that i've been wanting to um just test the disc looks perfect um so i don't have doubts that it'll work um but just haven't had a chance to play it on the dreamcast yet so that was one <clears throat> another one is this copy of nba 2k1 um i actually picked this up for free at uh uh, a GameStop that I guess someone had traded in a bunch of games and there are certain games that GameStop just cannot scan into their system. I don't know if it's because the game just isn't registered in their system or if it's just they don't take certain games below a certain price point. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But 2K um, was definitely one of those games that they were not able to take in. And so um, definitely went ahead and took it for free. I mean, I'm not going to say no to one of my favorite. This is probably go down as probably my favorite sports game ever of all the maddens of anything just nba 2k1 was a, a huge one for me so i wanted to test this one as well and then what was the last one that i wanted to test the last one that i wanted to test was actually a very recent pickup that i had made uh where's that i know it's in here somewhere oh yeah, here it goes so and that would be uh, the Expendables. So picked up a copy of Expendables um, on the Dreamcast. So these are the three games that I wanted to test out. Um, but I'm a little bummed because I believe that the fuse, um, one of the fuses in my Dreamcast has finally blown. And if it did, I would be so bummed out. So here's the bummer. Like, I don't think I've ever really had, you know, in any of my like pieces of hardware really fail on me yet. I haven't had a system or a console just stop working for me. Um, every console that I've had over the years has always held up. This might be the first one that actually like malfunctions on me. So I'm gonna turn it on and yeah. So as you can see, the controller is not registering here even though I'm turning the Dreamcast on because normally when you turn the Dreamcast on, if you have a VMU in there, and I've got two in there, but if you have a VMU in there, um, it'll give you like a beep, like beep, and then, you know, the VMU will either display um, whatever game it is you're, you're, you have in the console or the time or something of that nature. So this is a very unfortunate series of events for me um, because like I said, I've never had a Dreamcast or any consoles just n n stop working on me and so now i'm going to have to figure out one of two things um one do i want to try and fix this myself by basically taking my dreamcast apart because i've had this dreamcast for years never died on me so i don't know and i don't honestly don't know what caused the fuse to blow because um like i haven't dropped i, I haven't dropped the system um i have not you know done anything i haven't spilt anything on it uh none of those things but for whatever reason just the 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 remote sensors just aren't working i guess like i said the fuse is just blown so um and this i've kept this dreamcast in pretty good condition over the years it's got two small scratches at the top um but that's really about it um flip it over the bottom looks pretty decent as well um still got the sticker on there but um if i'm gonna attempt to fix this myself i'm gonna have to <sighs> unscrew this piece um take it apart um and then try to see if i can buy the parts to replace the fuse because that's the only thing that i could see um being wrong with it is that the, the fuse for the remote sensor has blown and um, I've watched a couple videos on it, on how to replace it. And it's something that I could attempt to do. Um, or, so that's option number one, is I could attempt to just do it myself and buy the parts. Option number two is that I can um, 
take it somewhere that will charge me to fix it. Um, or option number three is just buy another console. Um, now the funny part is, is that I actually had two Dreamcast consoles and I sold, I actually sold a complete inbox or traded rather. I traded away a complete inbox Dreamcast console at the beginning of the year, which now I'm like, damn, I really could have used that, um, at this time. Um, but when I go online and I try to see if I could find, uh, Dreamcast consoles, price of Dreamcast are going up. Who would have thought? Um, for a while there, it looked like the price of Dreamcast consoles were going down. Like, I was seeing Dreamcasts go for, like, 89 99 you know, 85 you know, things of that nature. But now they're back up to over 100 averaging somewhere between 115 and 120 bucks for a Dreamcast. I mean, even if you're looking for just, like, just the console, no controllers, no anything, um, you know, people want, you know, at least 100 bucks just for the console. No cords, no controllers, or anything. So I don't know if if it's because the Dreamcast just celebrated its 25th year anniversary um, not that long ago. It is 25 years old. And even with it being 25 years old, just look at the Dreamcast, man. It is like a beautiful, it's like, it's like a beautiful console. Like every time, every time I look at the Dreamcast, especially from the side, it just reminds me of like a very elegant sports car. I just think Toyota Supra or something like that. I don't know, it's just super cool. And then even when you turn it on, it has just like that beautiful like bright orange uh triangle there in the middle so i don't know i'll say all that to say that i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do um if i'm going to replace this fix this uh, myself or pay someone to fix it and um obviously the cheapest thing to do would be to buy the parts and try to fix it myself um only thing that's going to cost me there is time and there's no guarantee that i'll do it the right way um i could pay someone to fix it but depending on how but that would all depend on how much they charge me right because if they're going to charge me anything close to what the cost of just replacing the console would be well then i'm just going to replace the console i would rather just pay but get a new console and then take my time and work on trying to fix this or just selling this one as is letting whoever buys buys it know that this piece um that the fuse is blown and then just kind of trying to recoup some of the money from what I'd have to spend on a new console. So I guess we'll see what I decide to do. Um, but this is one of the things that you do have to consider whenever you're collecting, um, you know, older systems and, you know, older hardware. The, there is a chance that these um, consoles can go on you at any minute, because like I said, there's nothing that I did to cause the fuse to uh, go out on me. I didn't drop it. Clearly, you can see there's next to no damage in this on the front part of this, the console. So Sometimes these things just randomly break down and they just randomly stop working and that's a risk you just have to consider when you collect um, retro games and consoles. But let me know what you think. Which option do you think I should go with? Should I just get a new one? Should I pay someone to fix it? Or should I try to fix it myself? Let me know down in the comments. It's the Y2K Collector. Hopefully you are enjoying um, your Sunday and you're having a, a good time just relaxing. Uh, a new week is coming up ahead of us and um, it'll be back to the grind real soon. So let me know and enjoy the rest of the day. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.